Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Our Chicago. I'm Stacy Baca. We're two years into the pandemic, and according to the U.S. Labor Department, as of early February, there were 1.4 fewer employed women. That is compared to 500,000 fewer adult men. So in short, more women than men left the workplace during the pandemic, and many of them have not returned. So this morning we are talking about why they left their jobs, why many have not come back, and how employers are responding as well. So my guests this morning are Felicia Davis-Blakely, the president and CEO of the Chicago Foundation for Women, and Sharmili Majmudar, the executive vice president and policy and organizational impact with women employed. So I'd really like to welcome both of you. Such an important topic. We're talking about women in the workplace. So welcome. Welcome. Thank, Thank you for you. having us. Yes, Charmele, <laughs> let me go ahead and start with you. We hear that the latest job numbers, unemployment rates, they sound pretty good, but according to the U.S. Labor Department, of the 6.6 .6 million jobs gained, gained since President Biden took office, most have gone to men. So what is keeping women who left their jobs during the pandemic from going back to work at this point? The availability of child care continues to be a really significant issue. About a third of the child care workforce left the industry during the pandemic because their child care center closed or because they took another job or retired. Um, and the child care industry has only attracted back two thirds of those workers at this point. So even even before the pandemic, we had issues with the child care industries ability to meet needs um, and we had uh, we were less than optimal in terms of women's labor force participation uh, even pre-pandemic and you know there are some uh, bright lights right so there has been an increase in investment in Illinois in the child care industry that certainly has been um, is, is part of the build back better agenda from the federal government. Um, I think it remains to be seen how permanent those investments are, um, but some of those investments investments are also about assisting people with being able to even afford childcare and be able to access childcare even if they're looking for a job, not necessarily already employed. According to the research from the National Women's Law Center, unemployment among black women at 5.8% has been significantly higher than Latinas, Asian, white women. What do you want people to really know about that statistic? This is a really important point. So in fact, the most recent BLS data shows that that number jumped up to 6.1% in February. And so the while unemployment either dropped, rates dropped, or remained the same for almost every other group by race and ethnicity, black women still continue to face an uphill battle. And this is um, partly because you know, black workers have faced some discrimination um, in the workforce um, for a very long time. And for black women in particular, they're compounding inequities of the gender pay gap, as well as those racial inequities really have driven that number further. Sharmili, I'd like to ask you this. Do we know if those women who have gone back to work, are they going back to the same jobs? Are they shifting jobs and careers? What is it that's happening at this juncture? That's a great question. So um, Deloitte and McKinsey both did surveys um, specifically looking at corporate moms and, and women um, and found that in terms of white collar jobs, 25% of women uh, were considering either downshifting their careers or actually leaving the workforce altogether. Uh, another challenge that's faced overall is that the longer that you are out of the workforce, the harder it is to get a job. Um, so for millions of women who left the paid workforce at the start of the pandemic, um, this two-year mark is very significant. It's the point at which a gap in work history becomes much, much harder to overcome. Um, and as two years turn into three years, um, there are studies that suggest that the chances of actually getting an interview uh, fall by um, 50%. So the longer that women are out of work, the harder it is to get them back into work. And those who were out of the work the longest tended to be the ones who have caregiving responsibilities and are disproportionately women of color. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.